As Canadians, we take pride in our public health care system. And with good reason. There's a lot for us to be proud of. Our public system provides excellent care for less money. We spend roughly half of what the private U.S. system spends per person. And we have better health outcomes. Tommy Douglas, the father of Medicare, was even crowned the greatest Canadian of all time in a CBC contest. Thanks to him, our health care is universal, which means it covers everyone, no matter which province or territory you live in or how much money you make. If you're sick, you have equal access to everything you need to get you back on your feet again. Except for one thing. Prescription medicine. Whether it's antibiotics to treat an infection, insulin to manage diabetes, or an EpiPen to have on hand in case of a potentially fatal allergic reaction, chances are the prescription drugs you need to get and stay healthy aren't covered, unless you've been hospitalized. Ouch. And these critical medicines are getting more and more expensive every year. In 2016, Canadians spent $30 billion to fill more than 600 million prescriptions. That's more than four times what we spent on prescriptions 20 years ago. No other part of our healthcare system has increased in cost so quickly. Is that making your blood boil? Better take some deep breaths, because the cost of maintenance drugs, like those used to control high blood pressure, has gone up 58% since 2005. Meanwhile, specialty drugs have skyrocketed 325%. What's more, our costs here in Canada are going up faster than other countries. Between 2000 and 2012, our prices increased at a greater rate than any other comparator country. That's a tough pill to swallow. Canadians pay about 22% of our drug costs straight out of our own pockets, not counting what we spend on insurance premiums. The rest is covered by a patchwork of 19 public and 24 private insurance providers, all with different eligibility criteria and different coverage levels depending on where you live or work. So much for treating everybody equally. Three and a half million Canadians don't even have basic prescription drug coverage. They tend to live in the poorest neighborhoods and have the lowest levels of education. They're more likely to be young, women, recent immigrants, and working part-time. And not surprisingly, one in three people with incomes under $50,000 fail to take needed medication because of cost. One in three. Overall, one in 10 Canadians can't afford to fill their prescriptions. Does that sound like a healthy Canada to you? Luckily, there's something we can do. There's a way we can stop skyrocketing costs and make sure everyone has access to the medicine they need. With a universal national pharmacare program, we can use our government's negotiating power to stop Big Pharma from ripping us off. We can make sure that everyone who's sick is treated based on their needs, not on their ability to pay. No one should have to choose between paying their rent or taking their prescription medication. We can make our healthcare system a true source of pride for all Canadians, no matter where they live or work. And we can save $14 billion a year in the process. $14 billion. Just think what we could do with all those savings. But for every minute we go without Pharmacare, we're wasting an estimated $14,000. Over the past 10 years, we've wasted $62 billion healthcare dollars. Find out what you can do to make Pharmacare a reality. Download a lobby kit to help convince your member of parliament to support a national universal Pharmacare program. 91% of Canadians already support Pharmacare. Together, we can convince our MPs to get on board too and make our healthcare truly universal. Now that sounds like something to be proud of.